Otake and pollution. Hello, I'm Kavya with this week's Science News Wrap. And what those three things have in common is Delhi. Our capital city made global news this week for two reasons. Toxic air pollution levels and a water shortage apocalypse. For years now, Delhi has been making and breaking its own air pollution records. But it was ranked number one world capital with the deadliest air quality in 2018 in a new Greenpeace report. Stubble burning in farms is one of the biggest reasons for this but it's also because of erosion in the Aravalli Hills, deforestation and urbanization. Record air pollution levels are costing India a whole lot. The amount of money India spends on treating people with health problems from pollution is roughly more than 2,000 billion rupees in a single year. With that much money, ISRO could have completed 250 missions to the moon, you guys. But Delhi isn't the only city that's choking in bad air. The Greenpeace report also found that 15 out of the 20 most polluted cities in the world are all in India. And topping that list is Gurgaon. If you're in any of these cities, check out the videos below about why the pollution problem in India is so bad and how you can survive it. There's another crisis brewing in Delhi, a severe water shortage. Underground reserves and dams in the north are drying up and really fast. It's not just Delhi's problem because all of us Indians love our rice too damn much. Farmers need lots of water from somewhere to grow rice. And when rains don't show up on time, they turn to groundwater for it. Well, our undying hunger for rice has finally led to something, a water apocalypse. So it looks like it's gonna be bucket baths for Delhi starting as early as next year. And now from a drying Delhi to a lying Kerala. It turns out that class 10 students in Kerala are being taught that the only way that sex can transmit HIV is if people have sex outside of marriage or before marriage. This isn't just a dangerous lie, it's moral policing. Schools using a science textbook to manipulate how our next generation behaves. That's just plain wrong. And now we're moving from all that gloom and doom to the ray of sunshine in this week's news wrap. The second person in the history of the HIV AIDS epidemic seems to be fully cured. 12 years after the first patient was cured of HIV, scientists and doctors have now done it again. This is a huge milestone for HIV treatment. In both cases, it was made possible using a bone marrow transplant. In the case of the first patient, Timothy Brown, his bone marrow donor was someone with a rare mutation that gives a handful of people in the world a natural resistance to HIV. Until now, scientists thought that in Mr. Brown's case, being cured of the infection was just a huge lucky bonus. But now, 12 years and hundreds of failed attempts later, that same treatment has worked a second time in a different person. So a lot of researchers around the world are now going to be looking at this case and hopefully bring us a cure for HIV that doesn't involve any giant needles. If you're curious to know more, scroll down and find the links to all the stories in this week's news wrap in the description. And that's a wrap of this week in science, but do stay tuned for more from the worlds of science and tech right here on Tech2.